Well, good morning, YouTube. Matt and Roy back again. As you can see, I'm having a bad hair day. The rain has stopped, but it is still very moist outside and fairly humid. And uh, unless I jump into the shower in the mornings, this is pretty much what my hair looks like now. So uh, probably about time for another haircut, don't you think? <laughs> well, I already ran some errands this morning. I went to the uh, thrift store. It is sale day. Had absolutely nothing. Uh, it's getting to be that way this time of year. Probably after Christmas, usually the first of the year, there'll be tons of new things out there. Um, hopefully going to find some uh, more computer items. I'm still looking for some towers, some modders, you know, stuff I'm usually looking for. Um, I do have something, other things I got to do today. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a computer from a friend of mine that I need to transfer data to. He bought a new tower, so he gave me the new tower and the external hard drive, and I got to basically put the data that I put on that external hard drive from the old computer back on his new computer, and um, hopefully I'm just going to take a look at the new tower he bought. It's actually not brand new. It was a refurbished unit from a uh, local computer shop, and uh, it seems okay. I, I think he paid a decent price for it. It looks like it was truly refurbished. They uh, replaced the hard drive in it. They may have even recapped the motherboard. I took the uh, side cover off and I noticed a few of the capacitors didn't exactly look factory. So I'm going to run some diagnostics on that before I transfer any data just to make sure. You know, you would hope that if you buy a computer from a uh, reputable company that uh, everything would be fine, but you never know. They can always miss things. So before I, again, before I totally transfer the data back, I'm going to run my own set of diagnostics and uh, make sure everything is working perfectly. Um, I do have some other videos coming for you. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of dash cam footage I have to go through from our trip up to New York. Um, it's probably over over 10 hours of it, and um, I'm slowly going through it. I'm looking for, you know, the bad drivers, people cutting me off, people uh, not tail, people tailgating other people, not me, of course, but um, there were a few instances where these people were in the fast lane driving like 50 something miles an hour, it's just a little bit of everything. And I'm slowly putting them into a separate folder. I'm going to make another one of those bad driving videos. Of course, this will be bad driving, won't be bad driving in Hampton Roads, it'll be something like bad driving, uh, period. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't decided what name I'm going to give it yet, but, um, Let's see what else the day brings. Uh, like I said, I got to go start working on that computer, and uh, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Um, I may be getting a f uh, at least a part-time job. Um, there are a couple places I'm looking at right now. I'm looking into Food Lion, which is a local store near us, and uh, BJ's. I have applications in both. I'm waiting to hear back from the managers. Um, it would be really nice to get something at least part-time. Uh, it will not interfere with my YouTube channel. I will promise that right now. I will still be putting videos out. They may not be as frequent depending on my hours, but I will keep putting content out. Um, I know you guys have been asking about the food reviews. Um, I'm Because of the time of year it is, and there's just so much food around, period, I just honestly have not been had the want or the need to eat out as often. So that's why those are kind of been put to the side. And I think I'll probably start that up maybe the first of the year. I may do one or two in between, but don't expect a lot of food reviews until next year because, like I said, we have a lot of food in the house. We're always cooking this time of year. Because of my mom's surgery, people have been bringing food over to our house, and we have a lot of parties we're going to, so I just don't really have a need to spend the money. And, of course, you know, this time of year, buying Christmas gifts, you know, I need to save as much as possible, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, there may be one or two food reviews in between, but um, most likely they're not going to start up again until the beginning of January. Well, I'm going to head inside, again, make myself a cup of coffee, and get to work on that computer, so I'll talk to you guys All in right, a guys, bit. so I set up that computer that I'm working on. Um, it, like I said, it's a decent tower. It's a HP Phenom quad-core. Uh, it's got six, I believe six gigabytes of RAM, uh huh, and it's the Phenom 2 X4 820 processor. I'm running MemTest on it right now. I'm gonna also run a hard drive diagnostic again, you know, just to be sure everything's working well. This is almost identical to the uh, tower that I have over there. As a matter of fact, I think it has the same processor. You can see on top. 
Uh, it has the memory card reader, all in one. It's got a dual layer DVD burner with a light scribe. Blank expansion drive bay there, probably for a Blu-ray drive later on down the road. I may actually do that upgrade for him if he's interested. And uh, your usual array of USB 2.0 ports, um, headphone microphone jack. Fairly simple computer. This is interesting though. This is the hard drive that he has, the external hard drive. This is a old Seagate drive. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it around here and try to read it what it is. You can see it actually has two Firewire ports as well as the USB. Here's the tag right here. Um, it says it is, it looks like this may only be an 80 gigabyte drive, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, the model number or part number is 9Y7685-500. I could be wrong, but I mean this definitely looks like an older drive. I, I try to remember, it's been a long time since I've actually used this uh, hard drive of his. I actually did the backup to it, but I don't remember exactly what size it is. Here are the specs on this computer um, before he got it. This is what it was when it was brand new. It's still got the 820 quad core. Uh, it's been upgraded. Let me see. Nope, it's got the same memory in there, the 6 gigabytes of DDR3. What's interesting, though, is it does not have a 1 terabyte hard drive. It actually has a 720 megabytes uh, Seagate drive, so obviously the uh, shop replaced that. Uh, still has the wireless in it. I believe that is, if it is the same motherboard, it should still have the HD 4200 graphics, and pretty much everything else is the same except it is now running Windows 10 instead of Windows 7. I'm going to go ahead and let the... Um, let the uh, mem test run. If that passes, I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I'm done transferring the data. Now, if you're noticing here, you can see that I have a lot better light, and that's because I'm using my iZoom light, which really, I love this thing. I'll show you what it's like without it. This is with and without, and you can see it really does uh, help out, especially with the videos when it's uh, dark out, which it is today. It's not raining, but it's still kind of gloomy out. Well, Good news so far, mem test has passed, so that means all the memory sticks in here are good. I'm going to go ahead and pull that disk out. And I, because this is a Seagate hard drive that's in here, I was able to download a bootable version of the C-Tools disk. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. Hopefully this one does work. I have not tested this disk yet. Go ahead and turn it off and just do a hard reboot. Um, I expect the hard drive in this should be fine. I believe it's actually brand new. Um, when the uh, gentleman purchased this refurbished, they said that they had replaced certain components in it. And by now I'm thinking it is the motherboard and the hard drive. Let's see if this C-Tools disk actually does boot. Looking good so far. I know it's C-Tools for DOS, but I'm not exactly sure the version. Okay, there we go. It is C-Tools for DOS version 2.23. Looks like it's from 2011. We'll go ahead and accept that. And let's see. Smart support is supported and enabled. Smart has not been tripped, so that is good. Uh, everything appears to be functioning properly, so we'll go ahead and run a long test on here. And uh, that should probably take about an hour or so, and as long as that passes, then I'm fairly confident this uh, computer is good, good, good to go. Then I can go ahead and transfer the data from his external hard drive back on here, and this computer will be complete. All right, guys. Well, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. As you can see, C-Tools is only about 82% done, but it looks like it's going to pass. Uh, so that's good news. On a little bit more of a sadder note, my trusty old Kenwood, the model KX, and if it'll focus I'll tell you exactly what it is, KXW891 has finally bitten the dust. I've had this for a very long time. It's been a very good deck. Um, what's I think what's actually happened to it though, 
the rollers you can see it's kind of gotten very yellowed inside and I think the rollers and the uh, cap stands have just worn down because it will play a tape but it won't rewind or fast forward and I've checked the belts I've checked the motor on this and I can't think of anything else that it could be. Uh, the heads still work fine, but the rollers, if you look very closely, are, are very worn down. And I just think they're not able to grip the tape properly anymore. This deck has definitely seen its, its share of use. Before I got it, it was actually used in a studio environment. So uh, this deck probably has th tens of thousands of hours of play on it. She's been a trusty old friend. She's done me well for quite a few years. But I'm going to have to put an RIP on this. This one is going to be relegated to the dump. And it is a very sad day for me, yes. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, vlog here for today. I really don't have too much else to talk about. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these. And once again, I am going to put a plea out to all of my YouTube subscribers and all those people that watch my videos on a regular basis but don't subscribe. My subscriber rate, once again, is up, but I was going uh, using the YouTube Studio app. Um, I am looking that still about 92 to 93 percent of the views on my channel are uh, from people that are not subscribed to my channel, and they, I, they do watch my videos on a uh, on a regular basis. So those of you out there, you know who you are, and please, if you watch my videos with any regularity. Go ahead and click that subscriber button. It's not hard. It's that big red button with the play on it. You just click it, and uh, that'll help me out tremendously. Please remember to like my videos if you like them. If you don't, go ahead and give them a thumbs down. If you'd like them, please give them a thumbs up. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.